today we'll start a new topic translation and rotation of axis what is the definition of translation translation is shifting now if you take the coordinate axis like this shifting of the origin 0 0 to a desired point alpha comma beta like this repeat shifting of origin 0 0 to a desired point alpha comma beta without changing the direction of coordinate axis that means you have to draw a line parallel to x axis like this line parallel to y axis like this so this is a old x axis this is new x axis this is old y axis this is new y axis so shifting of origin from 0 0 to a desired point alpha comma beta without changing the direction of axis let us write the definition without shifting shifting of origin 0 0 to a desired point desired point alpha comma beta without changing without changing the direction of coordinate axis coordinate axis is called translation this is called what translation so in translation the origin is shifted the direction of axis remains unaltered that means both are having the same direction now let us draw a wonderful figure here now here onwards this is called old x axis and this is old y axis now let us shift the point 0 0 to some desired point alpha comma beta here thus forming another new axis like this now i wrote thick lines for old system and in dotted lines for new system this is new x dash new y dash now you can see very clearly let us consider a point p here before shifting only when the point is there in the previous system after shifting also the point is there in the new system so let us write small x y comma capital x y small x y denotes the coordinates of the point p in the old x axis and y axis and capital x y is the coordinates of the point p after origin is shifted to alpha comma beta now let us draw perpendiculars on to the axis like this now you can see very clearly that for our understanding purpose let us say this is o dash now we require these distances let us give some names this is m this is n this is q now first we will find out what is the value of o n now o n is equal to you can check once o n is equal to o m plus m n this is o m plus m n now we observe o n is the horizontal distance on old x axis that means it refers to the old x coordinate of the point p as we discussed earlier old x coordinate is small x that's why it is small x is equal to o m o m is the horizontal distance of the point o dash horizontal distance refers to x coordinate that is alpha plus m n can be written as o dash q so this is o dash q x is equal to alpha plus o dash q is also a horizontal distance and of course this is the new horizontal distance new horizontal distance refers to new x coordinate of the point p that is capital x so this is capital x therefore x is equal to x plus alpha this is first equation again let us consider the distance p n so p n is equal to we can write it as p q plus q n 
this is p q plus q n now p n is nothing but vertical distance on world axis so this is referring to world vertical distance refers to world y coordinate that is small y is equal to now p q is the new vertical distance on axis that refers to capital y plus q n q n can be written as o dash m so o dash m is referring to the vertical distance of the point o dash that is beta that is y is equal to y plus beta now you can observe very clearly here small x y is there capital x y is there alpha beta is there from here onwards throughout this chapter small x y refers to old coordinates of the point p capital x y refers to new coordinates of the point p and 0 0 is the old origin alpha comma beta is the new origin since x small x y capital x y alpha beta are related as small x is equal to x plus alpha small y is equal to capital y plus beta these two are called equations of translation so translation is nothing but shifting of origin from one point to another point without changing the direction of coordinate axis further equation of translation are given by x is equal to x plus alpha and y is equal to y plus beta